Hey traders, for today's trade, we're looking at an option strategy known as a put ratio spread in Dow Jones component, an aerospace stock Boeing. So taking a look at the stock on MarketSmith, Boeing has had a powerful run higher, notching six up days in a row before pulling back on Tuesday. Shares are now above both their 50-day and 200-day lines and closing in on a 221.43 buy point from a flat base. Earlier this week, the stock also took out an early entry at 216.22, just 10 cents above a short-term resistance level. Since the fall of last year, shares have bolted higher after breaking out from a cut base back in November. The stock is currently 5% away from the traditional flat base buy point. Boeing's industry group also shows leadership, currently ranking number 23 out of IVD's 197 groups. So the strategy we're looking at today is known as a put ratio spread. This is generally not suitable for beginners, so if you've never traded it before, you should definitely try it first in a virtual account before risking any real money. It is generally considered a neutral strategy, although it has the ability to make a profit in up, down, and sideways markets. The strategy involves buying a put option out of the money and selling two put options further out of the money. The trade is placed when the trader thinks that the underlying stock will be stable or slowly move lower and then finish around the short put strike at expiration. A fall in implied volatility will benefit the trade and it can also be profitable if the stock moves up early in the trade. The main risk with the trade is a sharp move lower early on. So with all that said, let's go over to my trading dashboard and set up this option trade in Boeing. So with Boeing trading around $209 a share, we could look to buy a 200 strike put with a May 19th expiration and then sell to 190 puts also with a May 19th expiration. With Boeing trading around 213 a share, we could look to buy the 200 put and sell two of the 190 strike puts, all with the May 19th expiration date. The result is a net credit of 90 cents or a total premium collected of $90. This is the maximum gain above a stock price of 200. Basically, in this case, all the puts would expire worthless and the trader would get to keep the $90 premium. A tent-shaped profit zone also exists between 180 and 200, with the maximum gain occurring at 190, of around $1,100. A stop loss may be a good idea here with this trade, and I'd consider getting out if a loss of $300 accumulates. Most importantly, please note that this trade involves naked options and is therefore not recommended for beginners. As always, remember that if you're new to options, make sure you practice in a virtual trading account before risking any real money. And remember that options are complex and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment in some cases. Be sure to join us for our regular options content here where we discuss a new trade idea every day. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.